What's up everyone, it's Matt Morozik, aka MVM397 with an unboxing for you. Um, this came from Mr. Mark Havikan last week when I was out of town and this is the second kit that I purchased at Wonder Express from him from Filmies Girls. This is Pearl and Filmies Girls and this is an amazing figure. Um, the painted up sample that they had the show was phenomenal, it looked exactly like the artwork. Um, <clears throat> the guy who uh, did the paint up did, did a couple mods to the to the kit and um, I can kind of sh tell you what he did really can't show you but I haven't even opened this up yet so I don't know what it looks like but she's just a really cool subject basically it's um, she's a scuba diver she's stolen a pearl from the clam and there's an eel that kind of protects it and he's coming up to give her a little nip in the butt so here's the artwork it's really really nice uh, let's see what it looks like um, so now you'll get to see the packaging because uh, when I did the unboxing of uh, Stella, I already un uh, had unboxed it and everything. So you get to see how it's packed. So as uh, with the first one, you get an envelope. I put my name on there. And then in the envelope, you get stuff. We get our certificate of authenticity right there. Kit number 29, it looks like. I'm not sure if this is from the second run or the first run. Not sure. It just says 29. Uh, seal right there, showing it's original. A uh, photo of the painted master. Actually, it gives you, gives you two photos this time. And the back view. And the detail on this thing is crazy. I mean, the uh, air tank is cool, the valve, the regulator. Um, the mask can come on and off. I believe the, the knife blade is metal. I'll find that out in a second. And I think it comes with three pearls. I think it comes with a, a pearl pearl, a clear one, and a black one. So we'll find out. Uh, again, we get a Film Music Girl sticker. I already have my first one up on my workbench, so we'll add that to the collection. And a business card. So if you want to check them out, go to filmmusicgirls.com or send Mark Havican. A message on Facebook or look up Filmies Girls on Facebook also and um, you can see all the the kits he has produced in the past on Facebook some of them are not available anymore I believe charge uh, is no longer available um, and Daphne surprise which is his first kit I think he's remastering it I could be wrong but uh, she's another space girl and uh, I'm gonna pick her up if he, if he does another run of her so nice packing lots of peanuts um, in the boxes you can see so everything's packed really well uh, the first thing is a little plastic container and in here it looks like we got some of the hair bits some of the curls that are individually sculpted this is a different type of resin than uh, Stella was this is a white resin Stella was kind of a gray resin so just a different caster I'm assuming uses a different resin and there's something in this bubble wrap. Gonna, oh, this looks like the dive mask. Let's check it out. So I can open it up without breaking it. And it's the dive mask. Really sharp. It looks good. A little flash around the edges here, no big deal. Nicely detailed, nice and sharp. Looks good. Put that back in there so we don't damage it. And I'm going to bring a trash can over here so I can put some of the bubbles in it because, like anything, once you unpack it once, it never goes back the same. So I'm going to throw some of these bubbles out and hopefully I don't throw anything away. So as I dig in here, you can see uh, the legs and the clam. And here's the first leg. And you can see there that he's wrapped peanuts around the fin or the flipper so the tips don't break off. So check it out hopefully I don't break it <laughs> in the process of unwrapping it we'll, we'll see but there you go really nice there's a minor mold line right down the center easy to sand out super smooth this is actually this resin is a little bit smoother than the Stella kit um, it feels lighter too so I think it's a less it feels like a less dense resin um, so just a different type of resin from the caster but super nice detail. I mean, you got the nice buckles here that hold the flippers on. Those are nicely detailed. Super sharp. This will require a little more cleanup than Stella just because there's more parts and they're more detailed. So there's one leg. 
here's the other leg. Same thing, the peanuts were wrapped around here, they kind of fell off in shipping, but no big deal. Uh, again, super, I love, I love the sculpt of the feet. Um, they're just really, really elegant. Super nice. They look like they're under, it looks like they're underwater. They just have a nice flow to them. Again, just a seam line right down the middle. That'll be easy sanding, maybe a little bit of putty work. Nothing too major. Nicely detailed again. Looking good. Get, some, get rid of some more of these peanuts. And we got a bag here. Looks like we got some hoses. All right, here's the. Looks like the main bit of hair. Really nice. Again, some flash. A little seam line to fix up. So, looking pretty good. And we have an oh no the knife the knife blade is resin. I thought I could have sworn he said it was metal, but I guess I was wrong. There it is. It's nice and sharp. Looks good. And in here we have looks like the uh, air air valve to the tank. And that's nicely sculpted. A little seam right down the middle here. A little bit of sanding. I'll need a little bit of putty right here. And looks pretty good. I don't see any air bubbles or anything. And it looks like the gate's right there. So that looks pretty good. And here is one of the hoses that goes to the mask, or to the uh, air regulator to the tank. Minor seam in there. Nothing too bad. Uh, if you've ever built a resin kit, there's always seam lines. I don't care what anyone tells you. You can never... It's nearly impossible to not have a seam. Um, I've had a few kits where the seams are... Well, Stella, she's a good example. They were there, but they were so minute. Um, this this kit has... The seams are, are a little... Uh, I don't want to say they're bad because they're not. They're they're just they just need a little more sanding, a little more work. Like you can see right there on the on the elbow, you know, a little bit of a step, but nothing too bad. I get another hose. This one's got some peanuts on it, so I'm sure there's a detail part on the end. I'm not gonna take it off because it's on there pretty good. Uh, oh, a little clam. A little piece of detail there to go the on the base. And here's the other hand that holds the pearl. This will take a little bit of work. This fingers have um, some pretty good flash around them. Nothing sandpaper can't take care of. <laughs> Let's see if I'll focus. There it goes. Yeah, a little sanding. And those will smooth out. So if you don't like sanding, don't build resin. <laughs> uh, if you think there's a lot of sanding and plastic to do it right, multiply it by 10 or 20 on a resin kit. Uh, it's just the nature of the beast. Now there's some like little, um, it looks like, like little air bubbles that didn't quite pop in the casting inside the clan there, so I'll have to dig those out. Like the air was escaping from, from the piece and it had solidified before the air had completely um, escaped. Here's another little clam in here. And here are the pearls. They're marbles. Ooh, there's four. So we get... Oops, I dropped them. <laughs> ah, I got her. Okay, so we got like a... And these are just plastic beads, but they're nice. It's like a, a, a gunmetal gray, a silver, a pearl color, and then a clear one. So you get four. That's nice. And there's another little clam in here. And it looks like maybe you can put one of the marbles in there, one of the, the pearls inside of that one, and it goes on the base. And that was in this little plastic ramekin tin. So again, the packing is really good um, on these kits. It takes a lot of care. Um, and you know, when you drop a couple hundred bucks on a kit, you wanna make sure it gets to you safely. And I, I think I said this in my Stella uh, unboxing the prices on these kits I think are really really good um, especially since I got a Wonderfest I think um, I paid 190 for pearl shipped um, so that was like a show price 
And then uh, since he sold out, he gave me free shipping. I think if, um, I, don't know, I don't know what the normal price would be, but I, I would assume it'd be closer to like 125, or sorry, 225, 230 uh, before shipping, which in my opinion is still a very good price for what you get. You know, when you, when you build Gundams and you, you drop three or four hundred dollars on a single kit. <laughs> figure kits look really, really inexpensive to me. Um, though a lot of the figure guys say that two hundred dollars is expensive for a kit. Um, I, don't, I don't see why they say that. Here's the air tank. Pretty good. Looking nice and sharp. It's got a nice big key right there to go in the back. These straps are very nicely detailed. I see going to need a little bit of work. Uh, we're getting to the base. We'll get that. That's at the very bottom. Oh, here's the eel. Let's see what the eel looks like. So this, I'm not. I don't plan on building this kit anytime soon, simply because um, I'm going to do a separate video here in a second on a Stella update. But I've never Stella is the first resin figure I've built, and uh, <laughs> it's going a little slower than anticipated. So. I'm gonna build. I'm gonna wait on Pearl till I get a few under my belt because she's a little more complicated. He's looking really cool. Very menacing looking. Looks good. Here is the torso. Let me get her out without get a hunk of resin here. Now it's kind of interesting the way this is designed because um, the way the head is keys in there, it's like it, it cuts off right at the chin, so there will be some filling work right there on her face to get that to look right. Let's see if uh, so. Anyway, this is how the tank goes in. Where does it go? Yeah, it goes this way. And it's pretty good because the way this works is that it lines up right with the straps. And I think with a little finagling, you can get that to fit without having to do any putty work because um, you'll have to paint the skin tones first on the body, then put the tank on, and then paint the straps. So ideally, you can get that on there because otherwise you'd have to paint the skin tone, mask all this, then put this on, putty, paint, and then try to take the, the tape off, which is uh, would be really difficult to do just because of the way this is on there but uh looks like it fits pretty good I'll have to see but this belt just kind of ends right there so I'm not sure exactly how that works get more peanuts out lots of peanuts good packing so uh, I was surprised to get this last week because when I when I paid for it at Wonderfest I wasn't anticipating it to get it for uh, like you know a couple months so either he uh, got done with the run earlier or he gave me one of the earlier kits. Either way, I was happy to, to get it a little sooner than anticipated. Thing is, uh, it was my birthday last week and I turned 40, so. <laughs> Here's the squid, he's really cool. <laughs> one piece, this is molded in one piece, which is pretty amazing considering how difficult the shape is. Um, so I'm assuming this is a two piece mold and uh, the caster did a really good job. And he wraps around her bent leg, I believe. So her leg's like, well, where's the picture? Around the bent leg or the straight leg? Heck, I don't know. Maybe it's the straight leg. Something like this. He wraps around. Pretty cool. <laughs> I just think it's such a really neat, such a cool subject. So anyway, he goes on like that somehow. Uh, let's see. I haven't seen the head yet. Oh, there's the head. Let's see how she looks. I love the expression on her face too. It's really good. Just, just a really cool expression. And here's the head. And looking pretty good. Real smooth, nicely, 
detailed. Now, um, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna do a separate video on the Stella kit, but on the Stella kit, when I was painting the eyes, and I've never painted eyes before, I did notice that the left eye uh, in the sculpting, it protrudes a little bit more than the left eye. So the left eye, this side, protrudes a little more than the right side which makes it very difficult to paint a circle. Every time I tried to paint a circle, it would kind of turn into a square. So um, I'm actually gonna, I'll go over in my Stella video, but I'm gonna start over on the face. I'm not happy with it now, but this looks really good. I mean, this this casting is super, super slick. So let's see how that fits into the, into the neck. How does that work? So you'll see that there's gonna be a seam right there, which we'll have to You have to glue this together, putty it, and sand it before you do any painting on the on the body, which is a little unfortunate, but it is what it is. I don't know how else you would do that. I mean, you couldn't sculpt, you couldn't cast that on one piece. I don't think it'd be almost impossible. So a little putty work and sanding, and then away you go. And then I think that's all the pieces except for the base. And here's the base. Nice hefty base again. Nice signature casting number 29. Full sticker. Pretty cool. So, how does this work? I'm not sure. I think you may have to get your own plastic rod, but basically, this will go like this and she'll be in like. Oh, I can see. It goes like this. It does peg in the. Um, like that. So, this will fit in like that. And then the eel comes in and around. There's a peg back here for the eel. And I haven't, again, I haven't opened this or cleaned this up so it's not pegging exactly, but it's just a really cool three dimensional sculpture. I mean, it's just freaking amazing. So cool. And it's a good size. I mean, these are uh, approximately one sixth scale kits. So. What would that be? Let's see if I can. How does this light go on? Okay, so yeah, this light goes on like this, and that's the one that the the squid goes on to. He comes up here and put on the straight leg. Somewhere in here, like that, so you can magnetize it or. He'll just actually just stay on there. Again, this is, <laughs> I haven't done anything to this, but it gives you an idea of what this looks like when it's kind of all put together. Now, one thing I'm noticing, which is really nice, take this off the base. So the way that the legs go in, there won't be any putty work because it's um, the uh, caster or the sculptor, I guess. I guess the sculptor is the one that cuts it apart. But the way it is, the seam line lands right on the seam of the swimsuit. So there won't be any filling between the leg and the swimsuit. That's really nice. That saves a lot. It allows you to paint the legs separately from the from the body and then put them on. So that's nice. So the only real headache as far as um, painting the, the flesh tone will be is the back. Because you have to, unless you can get this fitted just right. Oh, maybe you can, I don't know what you can do. You can put a little putty on, on these parts and then push this on, put a little saran wrap on these parts so the putty doesn't stick, put this in, give it a good squeeze, let the putty dry, and then you pull it off and you should have an exact match. And then you should be able to paint the skin tone separately and the tank separately and then put it on. So that's the trick for that. Again, great, awesome kit. Uh, this is quite a bit more complicated than the Stella kit that I'm uh, currently working on. So this will be um, a later date. <laughs> uh, maybe maybe next year, the year after. I, I don't have any plans. Like I said, I don't plan on doing this anytime soon. Um, <clears throat> and besides, I got a ton of other <clears throat> kits I've got to get done for clients. So, But I also have to get this. Again, this was at Wonderfest. Um, I, I, I'm assuming he'll have it on his website eventually. But um, I, he doesn't show, like, if you go to his website, there's no, like, showing anything in stock. Basically, you need to contact him, see if he has any of any of his kits, and then he'll let you know if you can purchase it or not. But um, 
But there you go, that is Pearl. Really, really cool subject matter. Just again, really, really classic looking, 60s kind of scuba diver chick. Uh, very tasteful. Um, I, I just love it. I love the subject matter. And I love the way um, that they're, you, you can build a female kit and it's not all TNA. <laughs> it's something I feel comfortable working on around my kids. It's something I feel comfortable having out in the house as a, as a display piece. And uh, I don't know, it just, it just, it's really nice. I love it. And one more shot of the box right there. That's Pearl by Film These Girls. Check it out. Um, see if he's got one or see if he can get on the list for the next casting because it is awesome. Uh, thanks for watching. It's Matt Morozik, a.k.a. MVM397, signing out.